Rubbing of Karate, the 2010 Massachusetts State Geography Bee winner. If we were to travel to your town, what should we do while we are there? Give us some local travel tips, places to visit, things to see. Well, for one, you could always go to Lowell, only 10 miles from here, and see cotton mills from the 19th century. These started the, the Industrial Revolution in America and greatly revitalized the downtown area of Lowell. Another thing to see would be the Charles River. It has great views across its sidewalks and in inner Boston. It runs through Boston, as you can see. Duck tours in the river are very enjoyable by the tourists. Are enjoyed by the tourists, but you can get splashed too. It's very entertaining at the same time. Hikes in the mountains have always been like a national pastime of Massachusetts. If Massachusetts was the nation. Along the border with New Hampshire, we have a set of mountains, especially along the Merrimack River. Also, a mountain near Wachusett Reservoir called Wachusett Mountain is a Monadnock or Inselberg, which means a single mountain. There's, it's not combined in a mountain range, but it's a single mountain. On that mountain are very many hiking trails, which are very scenic and are also enjoyed by the many tourists that come there to either ski or hike. What does green mean to you and your friends of your age? We understand that going green means being environmentally friendly. friendly. Since resources we consume either directly or indirectly come from the earth, being aware of this cycle, using them carefully, avoiding wasting them, and using recyclable resources and renewable resources wherever we can is instrumental. Let's say you could trade places with any famous explorer or world leader. Who would you pick and why? Well, first of all, I would pick Mahatma Gandhi because he was a leader that could not be equaled. He fought against the British, the most powerful empire in the world, with non-violence. That's a great task. Nowadays, it seems that fights between countries can't sol be solved with nonviolence. They can only be solved with violence. But we should strive to achieve world peace and work towards it, even in times of war. If someone gave you a free ticket to travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Tell us what you would do while you were there and why you picked it. First on my travel books would be Western Europe. I've always been fascinated and I haven't gone there yet. I would love to see Paris for the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. I would love to see Pisa for the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the UK for things like Buckingham Palace and the Downingston Street and Westminster buildings. These are all national monuments or some sort of tourist attraction that have been a source of income for all of these countries. That's why economical geography is linked to them and I would like to visit them too. How do you smash all that information and knowledge into your brain? What's the secret? Share one of your study tips or tricks? Um, when I hear a question, I remember it easily. So I suggest to all be serious contestants you should have someone in your family. You should ask them politely. You should ask them to <clears throat> read over the question for you many times and you answer it many multiple times before any beat. That should be on your to-do list. If we put you in charge of the earth for the entire day, come on, just pretend this job exists. What's the very first problem or issue you tackle? What will you do? Well, I've been thinking about this and I narrowed it down to two things, poverty or global warming. Since global warming and new technology interest me more, I would pick that. Not that poverty is not important. Poverty, on the other hand, there's so many people that live in poverty. We can all help donate to charity and help them out because they're struggling to live day to day life. Global warming, if I was in charge of
to the earth, I would immediately write global warming. I could change the law from have, like only having cars of hydrogen fuel cells or solar powered cars. And then factory waste would have to be water vapor instead of the harmful smoke or smog in the atmosphere that have been harming our plants to this day. Hey, National Geo, did you know? Try to stump us, share one weird but true or random fact you have learned. The, to the toilet paper capital of the world is in which city? Which is Green Bay, Wisconsin. Thank you.